Hey guys, it's me, my reforms, and I am back with another video. Today is Sunday, April 9th, and it is Easter, so happy Easter to everyone. And this is just going to be a simple changing video. I'm going to change her out of her St. Patrick's Day outfit and into her Easter outfit. And it is a little late for me to be changing her, but I just have things i had to do today so i guess it's better late than never so yeah she's been in her um st patrick's day outfit for probably a month now but it's just so cute like if easter didn't happen she would still probably be in this outfit just because it's just too cute to take off of her but st patrick's day has been over with for a while so it's not fair to leave her in this outfit at least with everybody else it's just plain regular outfits but this just looks like i'm neglecting her <laughs> so i'm going to change her into something else which i'm going to show you guys and it is really sunny which is good but it is affecting the lighting a little bit so um i don't want this to be a super long video just because the lighting isn't really good she's going to be wearing this outfit that came with my last baby and her box opening if you haven't watched it go ahead and watch it it is a long one so if you haven't watched it i don't blame you go ahead and set aside some time to watch it sit down eat drink and have fun by watching that but anyways this came with hers but obviously you can't fit her because she doesn't wear the size this is a size three months and it's really cute it's a just when you buy carter's shirt and this material is really really nice it's long sleeve and has little ruffles on the arms and it has flowers on it it's a really pretty green brown and some pink and then it has the matching leggings um the only thing is she's more of a three to six months so these pants might fit her a little tight um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and change her but just look how cute let's just admire this outfit before we change her out of it it has a little leg warmers the tutu like she just was looking super cute in this outfit but um anyways so i just have a quick topic for you all and it's just a very simple question really and it is are you happy with your collection and again it is a simple question but it could have a very complex answer for it for most of us because what does happy mean for me, I am content with my collection. For the most part, I am happy with my collection. Um, but a way that I can be even more happy with my collection is by getting, I don't want to say getting rid of, but is by giving some babies new homes and adding a few more into my collection i'm not saying now and i'm not saying soon but you know eventually for me to be like really really happy with my collection now don't get me wrong i do love all of the babies in my collection you know i got them for a reason thought they were cute and i do bond with them because if i don't bond with them or didn't they would be um up for adoption so I do bond with my babies and I do love all of them. I think they're all really cute because again, I wouldn't have got them if I didn't. And I am for the most part content with my collection. And I am happy. I got a lot of my dream babies in my collection and it's like, what more could you want? But it always seems like we're always searching for more. We're always wanting more, you know, you get one baby you promise is the last baby you're going to get then you see something else for sale or you see another kit coming out and you're like i have to get this one so as far as that i feel like we're always are going to be searching for something different not necessarily better but just something different and i know that there are a few babies i would like to add into my collection but it's just so many kids out there. And I did find out that I do love full body silicone. So there's that now. There's more scopes. There's more kits. And it's like, what do you do? Do you just go ahead and buy them all? <laughs> do you save? 
Um, do you rotate them in and out of your collection? I know a few people that only do trades. So, um, oops. So they will get a baby, experience that baby for a little bit, trade that baby, get another one, experience it, so on and so forth. And they may be happy with that, and that way they get a chance to experience all the babies they want to. So, with me, I don't really want to do that. I want to just keep adding in and taking out babies. I want to have a pretty solid collection with an exception of few that I don't bond with over time. And I hope that is the only reason why I will have to let go of baby is because of the bond. Lately has been for me because of the bond as well as space. I don't have a room for the babies anymore. Before I had a, a room for them and I have more space for them. I'm having troubles with this arm getting it in here. Now I don't have that room and space for them, so but mainly selling some babies because of bonding, but for the most part it honestly has been because of space. And I can take this off. I don't know what I'm waiting for. I just don't like to pull it. I usually like to just take some scissors. I don't like to pull it because it creates like little tiny holes in it. And one time it was like a huge hole. Oh there was there was a white onesie I wanted to put on her under this. And I had it with this outfit, but I guess I forgot to grab it, but that's okay. She looks super cute with this. I know the lighting is pretty bad, guys. I'm sorry. But yeah, there's a few babies that I would like to add into my collection, both full by silicone and reborns. And then I feel like even when I get those babies, I'm still going to be searching for something. But again, for the most part, I am happy and I am content with my collection so far. I think that I'm happy that I was able to bring home the babies that I have brought home that I do have. So it's always still gratitude with that. Now there is a difference between me and a few other collectors because I know sometimes people get babies and they don't sell them. And of course that is a okay. That's 100% okay. I wish that I was able to bond with all of my babies and didn't have to sell them. But, you know, it doesn't work out work out like that. Sometimes I love them when I get them and love them forever. Or sometimes I love them when I get them and then I'm like, okay, that was fun. What's next? And end up listing them up for adoption. But if you bond with all, all of your babies and you keep all of your babies, that is amazing. Now, I know a lot of people keep all of their babies just because and not for the simple fact that they're bonding with them and for sentimental reasons again that's okay as well but i just have a question for those that keep their babies even when they don't bond or they just keep them just because they just want to keep them and i just want to know if you keep those babies just because you don't want to sell them or just because that's what you told yourself, you know, I'm going to keep all the babies that come into my collection. I'm never going to sell them. I don't know. I think, again, I think it's really, really cool that people are able to keep every single baby that goes in their collection. But me, I'm going to sell mine if I'm not bonding. <laughs> and I'm laughing at it because it's a lot of people, again, that don't sell their babies. And... I think I'm okay with selling my babies that I don't bond with. And when I'm low on space, I think it's okay for the most part. Because as much as we say, you know, we don't have favorites, but I do have those that I know I would never sell under any circumstance. So I think that's why I'm okay with selling. If it came down to it, I have those that I know I would never sell. So I think that is what I'm okay with. But... That's just me. Anyways, <laughs> she looks super cute in this outfit. I'm surprised these pants fit. Um, I put on, what pants did I put on her? They were so tight. I think it might, I only changed it like three times. Three, four, five times. No, five is pushing it. Like three or four times I only changed her. But I had some pants on her and they were way too tight. I can't remember. Like she couldn't even move. But look, she can move. But yeah, I probably won't put a lot of three months on her unless they're big like this. 
Um, but three to six months for sure for pants. She can get away with three month size shirts, but three to six months for sure for pants. Anyways, I don't have a headband or anything, and I don't really have anything special that I want to do to her hair, at least not right now. So I'm just going to brush it, and I usually wet the baby's hair before I brush it, but um, I just watered her hair and brushed it down and put her headband, her headband back on for that last outfit literally right before I recorded this video because I just took some photos of her in that outfit before I took it off of her. But yeah, look how good she looks in this outfit. This is so cute. It was like it was meant to be her outfit. This is a three months and this would have been way too big on September, but this would have been like a dress on her. <laughs> but this is so cute. So this is Reborn Zolena. Monroe, but you can call her Zoe. I call her little Zoe. My little Zoe bug. She's so cute. She is the sold out women's edition Susu kit by Natalie Glick. And I think, mm, again, I'm not a fan of pacifiers. I don't even think she has a magnet. Uh, I think her mouth might be too small for a cut passy too, but I think she would look really cute with a pacifier. I used to be a huge fan of passies, but lately I just haven't been into passies as much. <laughs> Yeah, this is her outfit. I might find some shoes. I think she came with some shoes. So I might put them on her. I might just put some socks or just leave her little feet out. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. Um, that's pretty much everything I have to say. Or are you happy with your collection? And yeah. <laughs> I decided to take a different approach today with the angle and the lighting because usually i probably would just change her on the floor and have her sit up but you know she's still kind of like a little baby so i maybe should have brought the bottom or something i wanted to treat her like a little baby don't want to grow her up too fast have her sit up on her own and things like that <laughs> um but yeah i don't think i have anything else to say i am going to do a new uh video with my big girl that i just got i want to change her again like i don't know why but i just want to change her again yesterday i changed her on wednesday because that's when i got her but yesterday on saturday or friday one of those i just was thinking to myself like i want to change her again <laughs> she came with so much stuff and it's so cute i just want to keep trying outfits on her and keep changing her and i haven't felt this way in a long time like keep changing babies so i'm really excited that i got her and i can't wait to do a video oh i was gonna do a video with her a routine yes i'm gonna do a routine probably two then not two birds out with one stone so okay i have all that situated okay i'm just talking out loud but yeah this is the end of the video you guys can go ahead and comment down below if you're happy with your collection why or why not again i am content i am happy but i'm always searching for another baby and um i do still have a dream baby out there september was a dream baby saint was a dream baby and milano was a dream baby all three of those babies were dream babies for separate reasons but i still have a dream baby out there and i did a video on what's your dream baby i did one a couple of months back and i'm describing my dream baby to you all if you haven't watched it go ahead and watch it but um yeah let me know in the comments below I, again this is it for the video i am losing track of what i say right here okay if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, you guys can do so. My Instagram is my underscore reborns. I actually just posted a photo today, so you guys can go ahead and like it if you want to and comment it if you want to. A uh, happy Easter from my reborn family and me and Zolana to you and yours. And I hope you guys had a great Sunday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. And I hope the rest of your week is just as amazing. I'm trying to upload more and record more. So wish me luck. I have had a great streak of five videos per week but i lost that momentum about a month or two ago and i'm trying to gain it back anyways if you guys like this video you know what to do go ahead and give it a big 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 thumbs up please and thank you comment down below anything you guys want in the comments including video requests and if you're not a subscriber to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button also ring that bell so you guys can all be notified when i post another video we will talk to you guys later and thank you again for watching this video. Bye.